everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Thermaltake Tough Fan 14 Pro. I did receive the sample, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. This is gonna be a 140 millimeter PC cooling fan with RPM speeds ranging from 500 all the way up to 2000 RPMs, 40,000 hour life expectancy, noise level coming in right around 31.6 decibels, max airflow of 119.6 CFM. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up, you'll notice our product literature followed by our low noise cable. So take a look at that cabling right there if you wanna use that. Next, we have our hardware kit. We have four short screws and four long screws, either if you want to mount it to your case or if you want to swap it out with maybe some other fans on your radiator AIO. You have all the hardware needed right there. And then lastly, we have the fan itself. Let's look at this in more detail. Front and center, you'll see we have the Thermaltake logo and branding on our bearing here. High quality construction. Looks really nice. Thermaltake branding, airflow indicator, you get the idea there. Here's a look at the backside, DC brushless, 12 volt, 0.7 amps. Here's our power cable connector right there. There are no RGB LEDs or anything on this fan. We have that large 140 millimeter design. Let me show you the 120 millimeter version just to get a feel for the differences in these fans. 120 versus 140. But good looking fan, nice construction here. Super effortless as we're spinning it here just for fun with our fingers, but really a smooth spin. Now let's go ahead, let's try it out. All right, so take a look at the fan installed and running right here at 100%. Get a feel for how everything looks and how it's working right now. It's very quiet and it's moving a lot, a lot, a lot of air through it all coming right out the back right there. You may notice we have it installed with the low noise cable. I conducted our tests with and without to give you a nice baseline and feel for what performance you can expect in case you want to install yours with that particular cable. So let's go over the results here. We'll be looking at this fan with different power settings from 25 to 50 to 75 to 100%. We'll be looking at the decibel readings at those same power settings and we'll look at our max FPM airflow coming out of here and everything we'll have with and without this cable installed so we can tell what sort of difference you can expect in regards to performance. So first up, let's talk about 25% fan speed, both with and without the cable, came in right at 520 RPMs. At 50% fan speeds without the cable, we got a score of 1090, so 1090 RPMs. With the cable, we start to see a little bit of a degradation in performance at 1,030 RPMs. And then moving right up to 75%, we see further separation. Without the cable installed, we got uh, 1,650 RPMs. With the cable installed, we got 1,405 RPMs. And then moving up to 100%, we see even more separation here at our final value. 2,080 RPMs without the low noise cable and we got 1,580 RPMs with the low noise cable. Now looking at our first result in regards to how loud they are at 25%, there was no noticeable difference in change. It wasn't until we got to 50% that we started to see around a five decibel swing. So at 50% without the cable, 48 decibels, with the cable, 43 decibels. And then we see a four decibel change at 75%. 57 decibels without the cable, 53 decibels with the cable. And then lastly at 100%, 64 decibels without the cable and 56 decibels with the cable. Lastly, let's talk about FPM. That changes as well at 100%. Without the cable, we got a value of 964 feet per minute for our airflow coming out of here. With the cable, that reduces down to 728. FPM. So what I'm seeing here is a correlation and a causation with this low noise cable. I believe it's just limiting the fan's performance to make it quieter. That's what we're learning here 
with this cable. So you can tweak stuff yourself and not use the cable. You could just use the cable and forget about it. It's really up to you and what you want. Do you want maximum performance? Ditch the cable. Would you rather have it run a little bit quieter without tweaking anything yourself in BIOS? Then go ahead and use the cable. So after using this fan and touching it while it was running with my finger, definitely don't recommend doing that. Let me share with you my final thoughts. Overall, I just have the same old, same old to say. I'm really pleased with the build quality, the parts, the components, the bearing, the performance, all of that top notch. I like how it looks aesthetically, all that good stuff. The stuff I want to see change is just like I said, same old, same old. I want even better performance and I want the fan to run quieter. I want RGB. I want the daisy chain magnetic connectors. And the good news is most of the stuff that I want is available on other fans within Thermaltake's product lineup. So anyways, with that being said, the choice really comes down to does this match your build? Does it fit in your build? And then decide if you want to use it with or without the low noise cable.